What is going on, guys? Grave here today. I'll talk about, uh, the, of course, the update we're going to be getting next week with uh, Season 1. It's kind of Part 2 of the Season 1 uh, mid-season update, I guess you could call it. Uh, we got a little bit more info today, mainly a trailer for zombies uh, from Treyarch showcasing Firebase Z. But before I get into it, guys, be sure if you're not subscribed to the channel to hit the subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have notifications turned on. If you enjoy the content, hit the like button and be sure to check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. Like I said today, Treyarch did release that Firebase Z trailer, which is not that long, about two minutes long. It does showcase, you know, kind of the setting, the map itself, new wonder weapons, of course, Tombstone Soda, which is returning from a, a past or previous Black Ops game. And it would, looks like it should be a pretty enjoyable map. Now, I will link this trailer down in the description below. I would play it for you guys in the background, but as always, unless you get permission from Activision and, and Treyarch and that kind of thing, you can kind of get in trouble with, uh, within YouTube for you know copyright issues. So I prefer usually just to link this stuff down in the description unless I have permission from someone you know to use that type of content. So like I said, if you want to check out that trailer, it is linked down in the description. Now, when it comes to the trailer itself, like I said, it shows new wonder weapons, the new tombstone, uh, you know, soda or the returning tombstone soda perk, but also uh, some new enemies to fight, which I thought was pretty interesting. It's a pretty intense trailer, a pretty cool trailer. Like I said, very short, but it does have me interested to play it when it comes to zombies because I have been playing a lot of zombies as of late in Black Ops Cold War. Also, we all know that uh, come next week with the update, we're going to be getting a new multiplayer map, which is Express, which is remastered from Black Ops 2. Hopefully, it'll be kind of in the same state that uh, we got Raid. Raid is pretty much spot on the exact same things it was in Black Ops 2. It did not change at all, and I'm hoping Express is the same. I'm assuming they're going to do the same kind of concept with this, just copy and paste it, and I'm perfectly fine with that. It's kind of a U-shaped map, uh, which has the train tracks looping around uh, the hub or the main hall there uh, of the uh, train station itself, so I'm not sure if you guys remember that map, but it's very enjoyable. I think it probably will get moved into the Pro League pool because it was a very good map for Search and Destroy from what I remember uh, back in Black Ops 2 watching you know, Pro League uh, Black Ops 2 then. So that's another good thing we're going to get or we're going to be getting with this kind of, you know, part two midseason update. And also a 40 player endurance mode for Fireteam Dirty Bomb, which is pretty much the exact same concept as Fireteam Dirty Bomb. But once one bomb detonates, a whole new uh, bomb will come online to take its place. So instead of, you know, starting out with five bombs and going down to the one bomb and everybody's kind of fighting over that one area, you know, until the person or the team gets, you know, the, the score limit. Now it's going to be a new bomb will come online. So there'll always be five bombs up at all times. Also, the score limit will be doubled from 500 to 1,000 in endurance mode. So it will make the games last longer. I'm sure a lot of people are thinking well, there's going to be five bombs online all the time. Some people are just going to camp certain bomb areas. And be able to win the game quickly with really without having to get in any engagements get into many fights so they are going to double that score so uh they said there also will be new maps added to prop hunt coming along with this update so it looks like this update is going to be kind of a playlist update you know a, a couple new maps like i said one for zombies one for multiplayer and i'm assuming i would guess i'm not 100 percent sure this is kind of my opinion or my thoughts we're probably going to get some kind of weapon balancing update we haven't had one in a while so i'm assuming they're probably going to tweak some things I'm guessing it's going to be not a massive, you know, kind of update or patch, but a pretty sizable one. Because like I said, we haven't got any weapon changes in, in about a month now. So Treyarch seems to like to mix up the, the meta, uh, you know, as often as they can without doing it, you know, pretty much week in and week out. But it seems like the last couple of times we've had some tweaks with the meta, it's been within about a month's time, you know, from the last time we got one. So I'm guessing we're probably going to see a meta change. I would just assume, like I said, that's kind of my opinion. No real word on that just yet. But overall, I am pretty excited to kind of, you know, experience these new things in the game. I know Express, like I said, is a remastered map from Black Ops 2. I'm really excited to play Firebase Z. But overall, I, I think if Treyarch continues this trend, whether they can or not, I'm not sure. But when you look back at Modern Warfare, of course, we got, you know, the content when the season started. We got a mid-season update. Treyarch has kind of took it a step further and gave us, you know, the content at the beginning of the season, content with a mid-season update, and then part two of that mid-season update. So we're kind of getting three drops of, uh, you know, things within the season, which I think is a pretty unique way of doing it that way. Throughout the entire season, you're getting new content. You're not just getting it at the start, in the middle, and then you have to wait, you know, months before the next season starts. 
because as we all know, uh, the next season or the end of season one is in about a little less than 30 days. So if they continue this trend of giving us stuff three times within a season, I think uh, the community will be pretty happy. Leave me a comment with your thoughts, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.